don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap like that. I don't need to be strapped in. Cause I blog in a coma. Volume 7. I can blog at any moment. Car blog. What it do, y'all? It's your boy Showtime S. Peter, nobody that knows bodies. Bah, bah. What's good? What's good? What it do, man? We came here to talk about some things, and I'm going to talk about a couple of things. You know, I had to throw on some old. I had to throw on old threads and throw on top of the new threads <laughs> so I can read through my news threads. I'm going to leave that one by itself. Smack Volume 7, man. Smack Volume 7 is the seventh installment. There are a couple names that I don't see on here that's usually on volumes, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we kind of miss a Rum Nitty on this thing, you know what I'm saying? We, we kind of miss a, a, a Briz Rothstein, you know what I'm saying? But there's a couple names on here that I remember being on these volumes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm used to them being on these volumes, and I'm used to that, and I'll accept it. I don't like all this talk about y'all saying y'all not that excited about this card. Look at this goddamn card. This card is crazy. It's really crazy. Let's 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 really get that out the way. Um, but before we uh before we get anything else, you know what I'm saying, salute to all the sing every single one of y'all out there, whether religiously or in passing. I appreciate y'all views, whether on this channel or on my channel or any other of this circuit. I really do appreciate y'all. I really, really do. I really, really do. Let's get back to this shit. I'm about to pick a battle. Let's go. DNA versus Av. Okay. I think also what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start to give y'all my own our own little uh grading scale on how I feel about the prediction or how I feel about the battle. And it's gonna be simple as this. We're gonna flick it, we're gonna roll it, we're gonna smoke it, or it's fire. We don't have to explain what it is, you already know what it is. I'm going to just say this. This battle, to me, I'm going to roll with it. I'm going I'm to go ahead and definitely roll up on it. I'm going I'm going, I'm going. to sit there. I'm going to ponder on it. Uh, but DNA has just came off of a battle, um, and, and, and it was a good battle. I, I personally think, you know, it's kind of those things where it's back and forth. You know what I'm saying? It's Gary. You know, a lot of people was calling that nigga Gary. But DNA definitely showed and proved. I like the no-gun bar DNA. I'm loving the no-gun bar DNA. There's a lot of stuff that he's saying in these battles. And y'all niggas ain't catching it. I mean, my nigga, did you catch the Scarface? I mean, not the Scar... You caught the Scarface, the Casino, the all of the De Niro. We're just gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna just say this. Um, but on the return to Av, I, I really feel as though that Av... Av can come out of this one unscathed because Av is is almost he's he's a little bit unbeatable at this point and even before he left battle rap and you know and he got sick he still was on the come up he just battled fines and I think he did his just do two one I think Av in this setting on this point on this platform I gotta give it to Av two one that's just me personally um another battle on this card I'm gonna go with um Arsenal versus Danny Myers. Arsenal versus Danny Myers. I'm going to have to roll with this one as well. Because the pin, the, 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 the pin from Danny Myers and the aggressive state that I like that's coming from Arsenal right now. I mean, like, right, right now. I'm loving the energy. Both of these niggas is going to be barking on each other. This could be a sleeper battle. But the reason why this battle is only down to my roll level. Because it ain't it ain't smokable yet. It's only because we know Danny got other battles set up before and after this. So it's just kind of like tainting. It's tainting the battle. I just hope. I mean, I hope Danny comes 100%. He is one of them guys that do it. I just want him to kill it at this platform but right now arsenal or at this level right now i'm not counting arsenal out so i'm gonna have to say arsenal 2-1 all right uh next up we gonna have to go with the battle that i'm gonna have to flick and this is no disrespect i'm flicking this one out the window it's already I done, mm -hmm. yeah we didn't ash that already out the window b dot versus shotgun should no disrespect to either one of these battlers. I do believe that both of them are good in their own right. 
B Dot just came off of a battle with Chilla Jones. I feel as though that maybe they gave Suge after they gave B Dot Suge after his performance versus Chilla, but his performance wasn't that bad. I mean, he slipped and blipped, but other than that, B Dot was still one of the top prior top gunners of the of the year. Not to mention, he also may be in the runnings for the champion of the year. So like. Let's really talk about this. Let's 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 really get into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm flicking this battle out the window. What is the purpose of this battle? There's no disrespect to Shotgun Shug, but at this point, that we all know that Shotgun Shug is chasing pins. But what are you chasing the pins for, Shug? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you not see your last battle versus Big uh, Brooklyn Hands? It wasn't that good, and you going up against somebody like B Dot who is going to lyrically violate you. B Dot three zero. Now let's get into the meat and the potatoes, all right? We about to chef it up for you niggas. Um, you know, sometimes when the earth, uh, when the earth was created, there was stars and there was a moon. And then the sun is what kept the heat rolling down to the sea. I'm trying to do my best Jada Nightwing impression. It's not that good because his voice is mad deep. Mad King, King, I love it. Versus... Buckle my seatbelt up for this one. This battle, nigga, this battle, I'm trying to tell y'all, this battle has the potential to be fire. This battle is more than smoke. This battle has the potential to be fire. You know why? Because we are seeing the return of New Jersey twerk. I'm trapped in! I don't know why I'm hyped to see this battle. Even though we've seen, you know, the last glimpses of New Jersey twerking his last performances, and then not to mention he, you know, things happened and things occurred. Um, as far as performance-wise, you 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 can't knock it, bro. Like you can't stop the fact that that New Jersey twerk has that it factor. Whatever these niggas is looking for, that they're chasing for, New Jersey twerk has it. It was the preparation that was fucking him up. It was the cons it was the consistency that was fucking him up. It was taking battles and not showing at the battles that was fucking him up. New Jersey twerk has everything to prove at this in this setting. This is where the a volume setting is where twerk really really thrives. Let's really talk about it. But Jada Nightwing has also been killing niggas in these little rooms. I'm just, I'm, it ain't been crazy, crazy, crazy. But I think that Jada Nightwing's inconsistency will be honed in fully. Because he got somebody that he knows, he knows can kill him in the snap of a finger. But you are the one they call Thanos. Let me say that one more time. New Jersey twerk has the potential to murder you with the snap of his finger. But they call you Thanos. How king are you? How much of a king do you really want to be? Hmm? This is somebody who is your size, who will thrive. The, qu the question is, who's going to survive? This ain't Mario. I ran out of lives. I'm just saying, I'm going to jump out on a limb here. And I'll get right back on this camera and tell you that I was wrong. But, but, I think Jada Nightwing can pull this one out, bro. New Jersey Twerk is probably going to give us a very explosive first round. But it is an endurance match. New Jersey Twerk has had all of this time to hone in all of these skills. And he has it. But the thing that I notice about New Jersey Twerk, when the, when the chips are stacked up against him, he usually crumbles. Summer madnesses, these have happened. I mean, not to mention, Jada Nightwing has also had chokes, but he had, whenever it was time for him to put on, it was time for him to put on. I think this battle is going to be smokable potential fire. Kayshawn versus Chilla Jones. That battle itself is going to be really, really good. I promise y'all that it's not going to be the flickable battle that y'all think it is. It's not going to be something that y'all going to roll. I think it's going to be some smoke in there. Because when there's smoke, there is fire. I feel like Vodafly going to recap this and say, 
what he was going to say. But I feel like Showtime SP is going to recap this battle and say Sean came through. There's one thing that I know about K. Sean, and I don't know him personally, but there's one thing that I've paid attention to. He knows how to win. He also gauges his opponents. So the level that Chilla Jones give off, Kayshawn's just going to give you a level two notches higher. Chilla Jones has the potential to kill Kayshawn with the angles, but the angles ain't really going to be that crazy. So the schemes is going to be good, but we know Sean got the fast paced scheming, bro. Let's 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 get that out the way. I'm 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 going to have to go with Kayshawn 2-1. Because I, I, I'm I not counting K-Shine out. Now, I will get right back on this camera. If Chilla Joan beats K-Shine convincingly, convincingly, I'll be right back here with it. Last but not least, let me talk to you niggas. Let me, let me, let me talk to y'all, okay? I don't like this talk about y'all talking shit about A-Verb and Tay-Rock being the worst battle on the card. Did y'all forget that these two have main evented big stages? That big stage feel, that's what them niggas do. Y'all want to talk about Rock losing six rounds? Six rounds? Who are you talking to? Okay? If anything, I got the first round against Moot. All right? So he ain't lose six rounds. Daylight, on the other hand, I kind of got Rock losing, losing them every edge. But nobody could beat that Rock, though. Nobody could beat that Rock. The best verb couldn't have beaten that Rock that night. And I said what I said. Even though Verb, I am a huge fan of A-Verb. This is a volume setting. And right now, Verb is more of the big stage feel. And the way he writes, it is meant for the smallest setting. You gotta, you are looking at somebody, A-Verb. Now you're looking at somebody who is God-like. He sat there and he went against the gods. Just like you, Verb. Who is hungrier between the two? You've been sitting on this island. When Thanos, when Thanos snapped his fingers and everything was gone, that nigga went back to the island. You are now Verb. You are Thanos on that island. Guess what? The fight ain't over. Rock said, oh, it's still shit that needs to be killed. Allow me to take my crown. And for that, this battle has all the potential to be fired. I'm still going to say it's smokable. I'm still going to smoke it. I ain't flicking it. But I got Tay Rock 2 1. I got Tay Rock 2 1 right then and there. And I'm pretty sure when, when the battle drops, you know, Verb is going to have, have said some shit that's going to be shit that we haven't caught. And that's what their second recap is for. But on the first prediction, I got to give it to Tay Rock. Sorry for the long blog, Vada. But I had to do it. Now let's get into it. I could have just left it like that, but I got it with me. I, I got it with me. Salute to every single one of y'all out there who watch this content religiously or in passing. I got it with me. Salute to my guy Showtime SP for his amazing analysis and breakdown on the Smack Volume 7 card. You know, we, we, we're apart right now. I, I spoke to y'all a couple of days ago, let you know I got a job, I gotta get to that bag. But guess what? We working, even when we working. So we gotta talk about Smack Volume 7, final predictions. He gave his predictions. I thought his predictions were so dope, I put them first. And I said, I got it from here, show damn. The chain is mine, the name is intact. I take blame for that. How could you falter? The old whole verse from Diamonds Are Forever. That was one of my favorite verses from him. But um, whew, some dope battles on the card. I'm not going to lie. There's some dope battles on this joint. You repeat. New Jersey Twerk versus Jada Nightwing. B Dot versus Shotgun Shook. DNA versus Av. Arsenal versus Danny Myers. Chilla Jones versus K Shine. And Tay Rock versus Aver. Now I could just jump into this card at any given point in time. But I'm going to just start with. Um, New Jersey Twerk versus Jada Nightwing. Jada Nightwing, Mad King. We see you preparing. We see you getting ready. I hope that you're ready for this. This is just shot on the volume. See, what happens on the volume is either you're going to go one or two ways. Either you're going to go this way, or you're going to be back down on Store Legacy, or battling Taco Bell Tony and all this other shit against these rookie niggas. I know you want to go this way, so it's, it's, it's in your best interest to elevate. You have to elevate. Come on, let me holler at you. You have to elevate to separate. 
elevate to separate and then you can levitate okay focus new jersey twerk coming back um he hasn't been around in quite some time car accident we our last battle that we seen him in was versus swamp that wasn't a win for him he's going to be trying to make a name for himself in 2021 i've had ups with twerk i've had downs with twerk you know what i'm saying as far as relationship with how he feels about my personal opinion in battle rap but right now it's a clear conscience i got no issues with him he's doing his thing and hopefully he brings three rounds and is ready to go new jersey twerk has a powerful performance and i'm sure he is going to be in his bag that first jump around about y'all know the shit he do when he do that Jay, I'm just gonna be honest. I think niggas is trying to set you up. I ain't gonna hold you. I like what you're able to do, but I think niggas is trying to set you up. Uh, you better be on your your A game. No, the jokes and all that shit is cool, but bro, you better be in your motherfucking bag. Cause twerk in them small rooms, him versus JC, him versus Verb, him. Oh my god, that first round versus Clips. Twerk 2-1. Jay, I, I, I rock with what you're doing. You can, you can shock the world, but I mean, golly, they put you up against a juggernaut. And we're going to see where it goes. We're going to see where it goes. I, hope, I, I got a lot of confidence in you, and you can do it at this level. I don't doubt it. But when they putting you against Twerk, who hasn't battled in a long-ass time, he's going to be sitting on top of material. <laughs> I got Twerk 2-1. Uh, B-Dot versus Shotgun Shug. Uh... Is this a punishment for B-Dot because of his last battle? Because he didn't do that bad. Like, I had Chilla Jones winning, but, I mean, I don't, like, Shotgun Sugar is somebody who a lot of people get on their way in. Like, when you're in, you know, they'll put you against him, franchise against him. Like, all of the newer guys. Like, he been doing some gatekeeper role type shit. And to see him against B-Dot, I, I, I kind of scratch my head because I'm like, he, like, what is he going to do against B-Dot? Like, writing? He can't write with B dot. Like I've seen Shug for years. No disrespect. I fuck with Shug, but I'm you're not I'm not gonna jump in front of this camera and be like he can write with B dot. Like B dot is gonna literally have to throw the battle, honestly. I got I got B dot winning every round in a rap battle? Like I I, I don't <laughs> I'm confused. Like what what am I what don't I see? that URL sees, but URL sees things in people that I don't see in niggas all the time, so maybe I'ma just keep it a whole stack and say, I just can't see it. Like, Shotgun Shook has moments. If there's a crowd, there's a totally different aspect, you know what I'm saying? The crowd, he did the shit with Ab, the motherfucking Jack Hammond and all that shit, start doing pocket checks and dunking on people, but small room volume, like, I, I beat that, it's, it's gonna go crazy. Uh, DNA versus Av, uh, DNA is coming off two weeks prep because he just battled two weeks ago versus Geechee Got him. And a very good version of DNA. Uh, the No Gun Bar DNA, that's a good version. Like, he do his thing with that. Uh, he did his thing versus Luke Cash. So he did his thing versus Geechee Gotti too. So a battle with Av. Uh, Av wants volume. Remember Av versus Chess. You know what I'm saying? Pick. You could pick a venue E or pick any avenue. Y'all niggas don't remember. See, niggas don't remember when Av was calling out the veterans in the motherfucking joint versus Chess. You know what I'm saying? The goddamn, uh, what do you say? Uh, he said, uh, with the motherfucking shit, you see, if, if, ain't no bitch in my crew. If take go, I'm hitting you too. You gonna see the arm oh, skipping over rock like I'm skipping to my loop. Y'all niggas don't remember that ad performance. Y'all niggas don't remember that ad performance. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. But y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't really feel like Av been getting his just due for a while. Like, for real, I don't really feel like Av been getting his just due. Because when he first came on, Av was, Av was twerking before twerk. Av was Geechee Gotti before Geechee Gotti. Av was that next nigga. And somehow on the, during the line, he got lost in the shuffle, and I don't know. But the volume card, you know, Av did his thing on there before. Uh, Av battled JC. He did his motherfucking thing on there. My scars much iller. New gem star. The Lion King. You see the scar much clearer or whatever. That shit was fire. Uh, DNA could get with Av. He's going to have a lot of Av flips and shit like that. Uh... Av is just punchline heavy. What he did versus Fonz was immaculate. Uh, I got Av winning the battle 2-1. Arsenal versus Danny Myers. Uh, Arsenal has been on some different shit recently. Way better than I've known him for in like the past year or so. He's been really in his bag. He's been winning battles and shit. He's been having better performances. So you, I can't knock that. Danny Myers just comes off a of 30 and uh, who am I? I don't even have to get in. Who am I? 
3-0. Y'all niggas know what the body of work was with that. Um, I've been sipping team, rocks and beans, apps team, fine. Who am I? That shit was crazy. Um, he coming off of that joint right there. Uh, if Danny could build off of that last performance, that third round, if he can build off of that, he can have a very, very good performance versus Arsenal. I got the battle 1-1 one, one going into the third. Um, I'm going to edge the battle of Danny. I feel like he wants it more. This is his first time. See, the thing is, the big names for Danny have all battled bigger names. So it's kind of like, what's your highlight is just another day at the office for me. And when that's the case, I kind of wean it towards the person who got more to lose and the person that's hungrier. In regards to this battle, I got Danny Myers winning 2-1. Kayshawn versus Chilla Jones. Kayshawn, high energy dude. A lot of, you know what I'm saying, he can use punches. He got different flows, different pockets of flows. This battle would mean a lot to Kayshawn if he could win versus a writer like Chilla Jones. But Chilla Jones just showed you in a battle versus uh, B-Dot where B-Dot got the first round. Then after that, Chilla Jones just elevated and <laughs> just, just went into some other shit. And he got him. In this battle, I got Chilla Jones reason why I feel like Chilla Jones is a better writer. Not a better performer, not a better fucking woo, 360s and shit like that. A better writer of raps. I feel like he's a better writer than Kayshawn. Kayshawn's dope too. He got punches. He can use personals. He got different pockets of flows. He can perform in that room. He 3 0 chess in there. A lot of people don't be giving him credit for that body back that he put on chess in there. But I just seen Chess the last performance for his past stay. It was even though he beat Pat Stay, I mean Pat Stay beat himself kind of, but it wasn't the best K Shine that I've ever seen. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not hating or no shit like that. I'm just calling it like I call it so I don't spoil it. To keep it a buck, you gotta be honest. Salute to the Nets. We beat them boys last night too. Okay. Um so I, I, I just I guess. Um Rock versus Verb. Verb is coming off of a battle with Calico that the app. Just the app. The app had Calico winning. Rock is coming off of two battles. That the app had his opponents winning. Well, he won. Uh, I had Daylight getting him, and Moot got him 2 1 2, respectfully. Um, Verb I had Calico getting him. Um, this battle is going to be very interesting. These guys are going to be in their bag. It's going to be very dangerous, very explosive. Uh, Tay Rock needs a win. He needs a win in this battle because he's been having a lot of battles where people have been giving the clear win to the opponent. Uh, as far as Verb, like if Verb is in his bag, like we know him to be, like the the conscious student, the conscious student, the con, like if he's, if he's in that shit like he was versus Moot, it could be a long night for Rock. Uh, Rock is gonna have to attack and have to go attack early. He's gonna need some shit. He's gonna have to be in his bag. He's gonna have to show people again why he is the, the 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 forefront the lebron the figure of the you he's gonna have to show that with clear wins it can't be debatables or losses or people feeling like you lost you have to get a clear win versus verb uh rock has the more powerful flow rock is the better puncher verb got the better lyricism so in a battle like this rock is going to need one of them powerful second rounds where his rounds versus Daylight was definitely good enough to battle a verb and to beat a verb. But I don't think his material that he had versus Moot would be good enough to beat Verb at his apex. You know what I'm saying? So I think that both of these guys are going to do well. Got Rock in a 2-1 close battle. Um, that's just how, how I see it and how I'm calling it. I call it, I call it so I can't spoil it. But other words, salute to my guy Showtime SP. I thought he did phenomenal with the intro. So I let him go first and get his bars out the way. Uh, this is how I feel about it. We put it all out together and we'll definitely be back with some recaps on how we felt about the battles after they happened. But uh, even though I ain't home, all is well. Do good in your battles. Cause I got that L. Salute to every single one of y'all. This will be this will be in attendance on Saturday. Bring your A game. And salute to all the battle rappers out there. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all do your motherfucking thing. I never really hear battlers complaining about good recaps. They normally complain when niggas is like, oh, you know, you got smoked and all that other shit. Well, the way you could prevent that is do good. Do good. You do good, nobody complains. Simple fix. Gang. <clears throat>